How's it going, everybody? And welcome to The Apple Show. My name is Travis Archuleta. Uh, this is The Apple Show. It's live every Friday at 8 p.m. on twitch.tv slash The Apple Show. Uh, you can watch it later on YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, wherever else I could post it. We're going to be talking about some LEGO news, different mocks, uh, different LEGO deals, and we're going to be giving away a $25 LEGO gift card, LEGO Worlds on Steam, and LEGO's Avengers on Steam. All you have to do to win is be in the chat room on twitch.tv slash the Apple show when I go live or whenever the show. Just get in the fucking chat. You'll fucking win. All right. I couldn't give away anything last fucking week. So if you're watching this later, just remember, just come into this to the chat, log in. You can make whatever username, bonglord420, that's you, bonglord420, come log in here, get in the chat room, and you'll probably win. Alright, um, let's get into the news. This is on thebrothersbrick.com. Lego stands against racism and inequality by donating $4 million. In response to the growing protests about racial inequality centered in the United States, LEGO announced that they stand with the black community and will donate $4 million to several organizations working to, to both support and educate children about racial inequality. The donation is one of the largest by a corporation announced so far, similar in scale to the $5 million donation announced by Disney. LEGO's support of the Black Lives Matter movement and their sizable donation is a notable response to the tragic events unfolding throughout the United States, especially considering their own flagship store is in New York was looted earlier this week. These pictures from Twitter users at Aaron White and at Steve Kamachki Kornak I can't I'm sorry. Steve Kanaki show the Flatiron District Lego store's windows smashed and shelves wiped clean with only a broken broken star des destroyer and a few permanent displays remaining. Lego's core values state that the company will strive to make a positive difference in the lives of children, not because we have to, but because it feels right and because we care. Lego has also asked retailers and affiliates to pause advertising on a variety of products, including sets of, uh, featuring the police and the Lego architecture White House. On uh, Lego's Twitter, they released, We stand with the black community against racism and, in and inequality. There is much to do. We will donate $4 million to organizations dedicated to supporting black children and educating all children about racial inequality. That is an amazing act that they uh, have done. And that's just another reason, you know, why Lego is so amazing that they can help step up in a time like this where, you know, everybody's hurting and especially the black community. And this is a really cool thing that uh, Lego has done. And, and I hope that it goes into a, into a good place. So very cool um, to see Lego donate five million dollars there uh, next news story this is what the last news story was talking about so Lego has paused some advertising uh, this is on CNBC Lego has paused some advertising for the White House and different police building sets in wake of the George Floyd protests um, <sighs> toy brickmaker Lego paused some advertising for building sets sets and products including police stations, city police vests, and the White House in light of the ongoing protests following the death in police custody of George Floyd in Minneapolis. So uh, I saw this going around on Facebook as well saying that they were just pulling all these sets. They're not going to pull the sets. They are uh, just pausing the advertising form. I'm pretty sure you can still go get them, but uh, I think it was kind of something they also did for Blackout Tuesday. Um, but, you know, I, I totally support it. I think that's awesome. I, th I think it's great to see everybody stand together and, and push together in, in, the, in the right way. And, you know, I, I hope it continues. Um, this is a charity that I actually found uh, called The Giving Brick. It's a Kansas City-based nonprofit organization. Um, we take Lego bricks in any condition. If you have Lego pieces or sets you would like to donate to a worthy cause, please send it to us. We will have your old Legos uh, cleaned and part of an official Lego set before you can say everything is awesome. So go to thegivingbrick.org and uh, donate if you can, and they will they they will help get some Lego sets in the hands of uh, the kids who need them. 
Um, this is on The Brick Fanatics by Graham. The Lego group declares adults welcome, with data showing that more adults are buying Lego sets for themselves than ever, the Lego group is declaring adults welcome. Since the year began, Lego fans have seen a few new initiatives get rolled out. The uh, Manchester United Stadium was rolled out in a black box with a clever and expensive looking advertising campaign. Then new Star Wars helmet sets were introduced. Those were fucking awesome. I, I need to get them. I just feel like it's like the Lego knows how to get you by the balls because they're like, how about 40? You're like, okay. How about 50? You're like, oh, I'm okay. And they're like, all right, they're fucking 60 bucks. Shit. Okay. Well, if you want them, you got to get them. Um, you know, I saw this floating around on a cover on a other websites as well. And I, I really like it. I think they're kind of wising up to the fact that there's a lot of adults out there who love Legos, you know, as evidence why I'm even trying to do this show right now. So, um, for them to kind of shift gears and, and keep, keep doing what they're doing, but also recognize that like, Hey, we're a, we're a pretty big chunk of audience and we don't have to ask our parents for money to, to go get it. I don't think not all of us anyways. So, uh, this haunted house was one that they released also. Uh, there's the star or the A-wing starfighter. And uh, go go read this article because they give some good insight into uh, Lego's strategy behind advertising and um, kind of combating the idea that it's a kid's toy and it should be you know more used for or it can be more used for adults, like so. Um, this is one of the Lego sets that they came out with. Uh, I. I don't know, I feel like this is like, you know, it's an old wooden toy, so I feel like this is geared towards um, adults too, but it's the wooden duck, 40501. See, the original wooden duck was designed in the 1930s and since then has become one of the, mo the main symbols of the toy manufacturer. Oh wow. That thing is beat to shit. So, yeah. I don't think I'll get this. I mean, I don't know if there's a price point on here. I'm not seeing one. It is safe to assume that the new set will be available only in the Lego House brand store once it is open. Okay, so this is going to be in the Lego House store. You're not getting it anyway unless you go there. Or on online. Uh, Brothers Brick came out with a guide to 130 new Lego sets coming out in June 2020. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, but they did a great job uh, categorizing everything, including the new sets like the like the dots and the Lego education. The Lego education, I still am just like, fuck man, $330. Like, my mom loved me, but I don't know if she loved me $330 for fucking educating Legos worth, you know? Lego House. These are the exclusive sets to Lego House. Available only in Europe for a limited time, with the Lego House opening again in Denmark this month. These may not last long before they become exclusive again. Here's a Lego house house tree of creativity. Ooh, dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. That you can always get my attention whenever you got some dinosaurs. You know, you could fucking put them in whatever. Dinosaurs with guns, sure. Yeah, dinosaurs in a spacesuit. I'll eat it up. Uh, Harry Potter. I mean, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, so I mean, I'll just kind of scroll through these, and if you are, then. Hip hip hooray. These they just all look the same to me. But whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna hate on them. Uh Lego Mario, Monkey Kid, again I'm not familiar with this. When I saw these come out initially, I was just kinda like, what is that? You know, what I mean cool that they're branching out and making stuff that, that a lot of other people like. And then the dots, mm, of course. Gotta get these before they sell out. That'll this this will be me going into work.
Hey, what's up, guys? Anyone need the time? I got it imprinted on my Lego watch. Cat's trying to get out. Um, yeah, so again, go go check this out. This is on thebrothersbrick.com. It's their guide to all, all the sets coming out uh, this summer. Brickset.com again. Um, this is a little chart posted by, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her name. Who? Ho? H U W. If you can pronounce that, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, he analyzed sets that came out, and uh, if the United States and North and North America specifically was kind of getting screwed on like release dates, if things were coming out here later than they were uh, in Europe, and what he found was um, that they basically were. He calculated the difference in release dates and days, then rounded up to the nearest tenth, imported the raw data into Excel and created a pivot table, which you can see here. And so basically this uh, is all the years they came out, and then um, this is the grand total of sets. So this minus 10 plus 10 is minus 10 days and plus 10 days. Uh, when it released from Europe versus the United States and you can kind of see they've tightened it up in the last few years there, there's not a big discrepancy you know with with a lot of sets you know 60 days it's a long time but only a couple sets uh, were, were that much anyway so but yeah go check this out brickset.com release dates does North America get a raw deal Question mark. Uh, this was when I was poking around on brick set. This is a set that I saw and caught my eye because this is the first Lego set that I ever had, and uh, this one in this series, I remember there was another set I got right after, and I, you know, I was probably like five or six years old, thought I was hot shit building Legos. I'm like, give me a fucking harder set, and. This one's fucking awesome too. I remember that one. But I remember the next one that they gave me was this one right here. And I couldn't for the life of me get it. And I remember just being so fucking mad about it. But I wish I had these sets still. I had, I had a bunch of Legos stolen from me when I was a kid by little shithead kids. They're probably in fucking jail now. Brick Fanatics, 12-in-1 rebuild into LEGO 404, 1-1 Creative Fund, 12-in-1 revealed. This is by Graham. A new LEGO set likely to be a promotional item has been uncovered. 404, 1-1 Creative Fund, 12-in-1 set. LEGO House 40501, the wooden duck turned up today thanks to LEGO.com Instructions repository, and Brick Set has uncovered another upcoming set in the same place. Uh, Creative Fund 12-in-1 looks great looks certain to be a gift with purchase exclusive as it features vacation inspired models the set seems to build one model at a time much like the Christmas rebuild boxes that have been lego.com promotional items in the past that said many of the models use different pieces so a few can be kept together at one time there is no confirmed release date at this point um, I think this is pretty cool I wonder what the price point to get it is though is it going to be that, hey, you have to spend like $85 bullshit to get it? I mean, it probably will be. Let's be real. Um, that's it for the news. Let's take a look at some Lego deals. Let's get into some fun here. Uh, this is on Lego.com right now. This week they're doing the... Blue Fury when you spend $85 or more yeah I I mean if I just happen to be spending $85 great but otherwise like this is probably going for like $20 on eBay right now yeah we're gonna look this up what is this Lego 401 what's the fucking set number Like, 
there was another set that I got like that, but when you when you're in the store and you know that you're like ten dollars away from whatever the fuck it is. It could be like a Lego Friends jewelry box. Sure, yeah, great. I'll take it. Um twenty five dollars, looks like. So yeah, you can spend the twenty five dollars with free shipping. And that's usually what it comes out to. When you see those poly bags, unless it's something, you know, super crazy, or these gift with purchase, unless it's su something super crazy, <clears throat> you can usually get it for like 20 bucks. But you should act on it fast because I uh, shit the bed on um, the four pack of Bricktober figures from Marvel, and I ended up having to pay like a hundred fucking dollars for them. And I could have got them for like 30 or 40 dollars if I just had bought them at the time. That's all I see going on Lego. They have some sale items. Um, they always do. This caught my eye because this is the Justice or the Batman vs Superman Batman figure, where he comes out looking like he's in Fallout, and then a couple of those fucking winged demons. Um, but I got that there. It, you know, they have them at the Lego store. Ten bucks, you get three figures. I think it's a pretty good deal. It's one of those things that can put you over the top if you are looking for like that poly bag gift with purchase but yeah <clears throat> bunch of bunch of stuff I don't think there was anything special that caught oh you look at this Lego watch mm -hmm. that'll be me with my Lego watch um, yep nothing great moving on on 9to5toys.com Save 50% on Lego Collectibles DC Superhero Minifigures at $2.50. So uh, these figures, $2.50, I think they're bagged and everything. But I don't trust it when I... Mm, I don't trust people, you know. They're feeling the bag. They know what... Oh, it's a bunch of fucking... What? It's a bunch of cheetahs. Oh, cool. Sweet. Um, so yeah, not bad. They also have some other deals, uh, including the Star Wars Duel on Mustafar, $16 down from 20 Other than that, everything on this list is pretty much 5 bucks off. Moving on, ToysAndBricks.com uh, posted Lego books, encyclopedias, and dictionaries on sale up to 50% off. So the 2013 Lego minifigure year by year visual history. I think I have that book. Uh, Twenty one dollars right now, forty percent off. I think the twenty one dollars is forty percent off. This is on Amazon. Yeah, I. You don't have the original price, so this is just regular price when I look at it. Lego ideas book. Unlock your imagination. Thirteen seventy nine. So go to toysandbricks.com, use their links, get some cheaper books. They're fun to have. <clears throat> They're fun to have when you have little ones over and you don't want them touching your shit. And you're like, look at this book. The ones that come with the minifigures are the best. Toysandbricks.com again. The Lego Creator London Bus and Technic uh, 9800 Excavator is on sale. This is a pretty good price. So uh, normally four hundred and fifty dollars on sale for three hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, where's the link? I need the link. Well, I would say go here and get the link, but uh, I don't know, Zavi USA. Okay. A couple sets I was poking around on Amazon. Found the Lego Marvel Avengers Compound Battle. 76131 building set includes toy. Okay, includes a bunch of shit. It's Captain Marvel, an Iron Man uh, suit, Hulk, Thanos, and a Chitari. And then a bunch of shit they never used in the fucking movie. Oh, you remember when Iron Man got in a car? I think that's on the box. I think in the on the box he's in the car. I'm not even No. Nope. Oh, no, I knew it. I knew it. Look at him. Remember that time Iron Man drove in his suit? 
you know, you find some silly shit like that all the time. And going back to the, you know, making Lego for adults, that's the kind of thing where it's like if they can make like real, you know, like replica of scenes and try and get like every little detail right, that would be fucking awesome. Instead, <laughs> they're, they're like Iron Man in a car. This is great. Anyway, <clears throat> normally $100, it's 20% off, it's $80. Go pick it up. The Lego Avengers Hall of Armor. This set is fucking awesome because you get all the suits with it, including that Mark 1 right there. It had a little fake Lego set, you know, like the ones you get from uh, fucking China that were like a dollar. And they're like, here's a dollar for like a hundred different suits. And you're like, okay. And you just feel dirty because they're not real Lego. <clears throat> However, uh, this is on sale. Normally $60. It is on sale for $48. On Amazon.com. Another Amazon set. <clears throat> the Molten Man Battle from uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Normally $30. It is $24. And also, Lego Disney Frozen Elsa Jewelry Box Creation. Normally $40, it is $31.99. On Target.com, they have the uh, Lego Superhero Marvel Avengers Hulk Copter Rescue. That is a mouthful. You get... You get Hulk in his suit... His quantum suit and Black Widow in the quantum suit and that sweet purple rescue armor. Damn, this is only $47? Hmm. Yeah, I think when I bought this, I got it for full price. That's a pretty good deal because when you if you had to sell those figures and that breaks down to like 10, 15 bucks for Hulk and 15 or 20 bucks maybe for the rescue armor. It's not bad. Brickset.com. Um, oh, this was just a bunch of stuff that they had on sale. Uh, if you go through Brickset.com, you can get discounts on some pretty cool sets that they have, and they have pages and pages of these discounts. So if you're just looking, you know, poke around, like I usually go poke around on eBay or whatever, or uh, Br Bricklink. Go, go poke around on here. It's a fun time. Oh, the gingerbread house. Oh, we found a deal. Normally this is uh, $99.99, not today. How does $99.95 sound? What a deal. I always wanted to make a big fucking landscape of these for uh, Christmas. Because you can just convince people. It's like, oh, it's my gingerbread forest. I can put it on my kitchen table. Like, no, I just wanted to build a bunch of fucking Lego sets and display them everywhere. It's an excuse to. And it's a good one. Um, oh, that's the uh, hot rod we were looking at. Okay, that's it for Lego, for Lego deals. Go check out that link. Brickset.com Um and see all the different sets though they do have some pretty good deals on some sets that was just kind of an anomaly so moving on let's look at some Lego creations I'm just gonna slow it down because I don't think anyone's in the fucking chat room right now because if they were I'd be giving shit away I got these game codes and a gift card but if you're watching this on YouTube later, maybe say something in the comments that's nice. It doesn't have to be nice to me or just a nice thing in general. Like if someone saw it, they'd be like, oh, that shit's nice. Way to go, that's nice. I'll send you a game code. Mm, that's a that's a slippery slope. Not nah, just, you know. You know.
All right. On Facebook, so I'm, I got some creations now, and we'll start actually. I live in uh, in Pen in Pennsylvania, and I go I shop at Giant. That's the grocery store here. It's called Giant. They have this creepy ass motherfucking robot. What's his fucking name? Marty. I think it's. I don't know what his fucking name is. I hate this thing. They put googly eyes on the front of it and a fake and a fake happy face so that it can go around and monitor and like track everyone in the system. Every time I accidentally bump this thing with my cart, I'm trying to disable it and save everyone in the grocery store because this shit is fucking terrifying. That's all it's going to be one day. You're going to walk in and it's going to be this googly-eyed monster be like, "Hi, can I help you?" Anyway, uh this person made a Lego grocery robot. It's a cool set, but that fucking thing terrifies me, so I don't know. It's a, it's a cool, you know, little hey on board, let me make something thing. That's that's very cool. That was on Reddit. Got to be careful on the Reddit comments. Whew. Uh, this is something I actually saw last week and forgot to include, but these are some Lego custom shoes by Taz Customs. Not for sale. This was a one-time collaboration. If you want any other non-Lego related custom work done, please contact me through the DM. Serious inquiries only. That's probably a lot of fucking money. But uh, I wanted to show these because they he made a little Lego box. And then had figures and the shoes with uh, the studs on the side of them and the, and the Nike swoosh. And then went ahead and made a little, uh, little fun time with them. They're awesome, but I don't know if I'd ever wear them. I mean, I'd be afraid to fuck them up, but also, I mean, I don't know who's going to take me seriously in those things. I'm not cool enough to walk around with those things and not have someone think I have a fucking brain injury. You know what I mean? They look great, though, and they, and they are really cool. Um, Lego Halo Shotgun. Oh, guard your ears. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Oh, it's still the loudest. Alright. Nick Brick. Uh, he made a Lego shotgun from Halo 2. And it actually fires. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't think it fires. I think he's just pumping shells out. That's not how it works. But that's still awesome. I could never fucking make that thing. Mm. That's fucking awesome. And there's so much detail in it. Ooh. Little ammo box. That's a lot of detail. That's nice. How many of those things did he have in his fucking hand? Wouldn't that be some shit? You're walking down the street and you're like, oh, a Lego shotgun, and this motherfucker's like, boom. Warning shot. Uh, so this one, this little fun clip. Oh, God, sorry. That was the loudest, too. He made this annoying little contraption. I mean, the ingenuity behind this is fucking amazing. Let's be real. He's like, I'm gonna lift my entire floor to the ceiling and dump all that shit in a basket. Perfect Lego cleanup. Except if every night before bed I hear this, I'd be like, mm, look Pee Wee Herman with your fucking little with your fucking little Rube Goldberg machine over here trying to trying to pick 
just pick the shit up off the floor, alright? You don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be like this. You don't have to wake up your mother every night with that. Oh, you ready to go to bed? Yeah, I'm ready. No. Uh, this is from the Lego house. You'd think I'd uh, guard your ears by now for you. They made a bunch of Lego uh, hearts into dominoes. And oh, here, here's the money shot right here. All right, give us what we want. Dinosaurs. Yep. They know what's up with the Lego house. I gotta. I want to go there so bad. A big Lego heart. Last little couple things here. Last couple little little things, little things here. Um, this is Charles McGrew in the Apples of Facebook group. I got his permission, of course, as I do with people on Facebook. You know, I try and ask them up front, "Hey, do you care if I like share this outside of here?" Because I want to be like, "Hey, I'm just gonna show your Lego sets around." Like, it's kind of weird. If the group wasn't private, if it was open, like you know, with Instagram shit, that's you can just go and look at it, sure, whatever, but I don't want to invade on anyone's privacy. Uh, but anyway, he has every series of Lego minifigure displayed. Framed and displayed with room for more. That looks really good. Ooh. Oh, he even dates them. Mm-hmm. This is great. We need more pictures, Charles. That's that's my only complaint is I can't. There's not a thousand pictures for me to scroll through. But this is amazing. Great job with this. This looks so cool. I feel like when you have a set like this or, or a build like this, you want to try and make it as presentable as possible so it doesn't look like you're fucking crazy. Because that's one thing I always struggled with is I always had like the Lego room and I try and keep everything in there. But when like someone that didn't really know me or someone who you know like a friend of a friend or whoever would come over and go in the lego room it's like is this guy fucking crazy like no i'm just you know i'm just i just like lego that's all good job with that set um <sighs> angus oh i'm so oh, an A agnius Damn Brascas. Brauskas. Uh, I'm going to call you Ag because uh, that name is too elegant for me to pronounce. He made a Lego city and uh, got his permission as well to post some of these. Mm -hmm. These all look so good. Yeah, his Lego city, he's got all the vehicles, big traffic jam, but. And there's just so much detail and everything. Like it feels like every little section of his Lego city is like, like has a lot of little stories in everything. Like just these people down here, for instance. Like th these guys building the set or are fixing whatever's going on over here. Even on the edges. This is nice. Oh my god, a bunch of cats. They're chasing a rat. But, like, even to put that facial... Type any name. I don't, I'm not going to do that. Um, even the facial expression on the minifigure, like, in the story, is it's a really nice touch. 
Oh, they're in the arcade. All right, looks like a couple people joined the chat. Welcome. Um, yeah, really nice set. Ooh. I love this. And like when you have a good build like this, to have that, like a nice table like that, just, mm, this looks really good. There's just so much going on everywhere. The different flashes. Bat Boy. Harley Quinn. This, uh, I remember when this came out, the, the cinema, the theater, that's a, that's a really cool set. My cousin had it. This is nice, little singer. Is that Magneto playing the piano? I'm pretty sure that's Magneto playing the piano. I didn't know that he was a uh, he was skilled on the keys. That's nice. Ninja Turtles eating pizzas. I guess they just live in a world where Ninja Turtles eating pizzas is normal, but they're also made of brick, so who am I to judge? Up their store. Oh, Groot. all these pictures I could just literally scroll through all these all day long where are we at on time we're looking good uh, one of my favorite things about Lego is this leaf right here because of what it looks like that's a nice use of those stupid little the these little clear pieces they were like like you'd put the minifigures feet on it and then spring it down and it would like shoot up and fucking land and break or not break but all the pieces would come off of it and uh, they were really annoying so this is actually a really good use of those because I didn't fucking like those at all they were called like super jump I can't remember what they were called they were stupid I wanted this set so bad. This is the Lego Movie 2 that Statue of Liberty set. Things gigantic. I had the Sea Cow when that came out and that was really fun to build. That was awesome. Frankenstein's hit some hard times. There's so many pictures. Oh, Batman. Mm -hmm. It's Batman Mad Max edition. Oh, we're going back through. Great job, Ag. Great job. That all looks amazing. Um, over on Instagram. This is a Lego Ideas glass mosaic. Please consider supporting. Let's get this past 100. Go see Smock. Smock Man Lego. And help him get this over. Oh, over 100. <sighs> Lego Professional. So. He made or they made a little book it says I heart you oh with the ring okay alright I see you that, that would have been one way 
to fucking propose to my fiance, but she probably would have smacked me because Legos are, are, you know, like like Lego sets are like my thing, and you know, it's totally understandable. But either way, that's fucking awesome. If you're a female asshole, then you would fucking love getting proposed to by that fucking Lego book. Good job. At Lego underscore professional. Go check them out. Why did I put you on here? Alright, I'm not too sure. Are these the ones that I even saved? Or am I that unprepared? Okay, here's the ones I actually saved. Alright, anyway. A couple of pictures I found floating around on Instagram. This is Mike PSG 75 on Instagram. 321 Go scientific game in the park. A little Lego kid playing with a rocket. That's that's awesome because it's like when you can take a good picture like that and it's just the rocket and the kid minifigure then like the the picture looks good you don't need to have a gigantic build in order to make something that looks really good like that using Lego this whew, this is that AT that ATST no this is the AT AT he th so this guy Lego Woodish. If you go to his, if we go to his page real quick, he builds everything, but out of wood or not wood, but wood Lego pieces. So, or so here's the ATAT, ATST. Anyway, that's very creative. And again, it just it just looks cool. Here's a Lamborghini variant. Build, build your world. Dot lt. It. Um, oh, this is by at Nicolay underscore Gamuar. Make sure to follow at Build Your. Okay, I don't know who. Nicolay. He's the one who made this, or she. Um, it's just the Lamborghini, but they replaced it with all with all black pieces, and that looks really nice. I gotta say, but that Lamborghini box, when they're trying when they're trying to do this thing to advertise for adults now, that's nice. The, the the green and black Lego Lamborghini box. If it comes up on here, I'll show you. Uh, Lego passion, Lego underscore passions. One of the nicest squares you will ever see by Lego underscore Leprechaun. This is too. It's very clean, and like the whole city is under the same theme, which is nice. Rancor eating Gamorrean guards. Rancor wins every time. Poor Malachi. All right. What else do we got? Oh, Lego underscore passions. Best display ever award goes to at Chewy underscore Fox. Is that a real award? Did they give that out? Uh, if it was like my fucking gifts for everybody, then they might take them. I have lego shit to give away if anyone's in the chat right now and you want lego shit just type into the chat right now and i will give you i will give you the gift card right now type in the chat right now and you can have the gift card do it anyway this is just a really nice clean set these are all star wars sets too Ooh, look at that darth maul head mm -hmm. good work Glock.city.reviews, aerial shot of the completely rebuilt layout. Six base plates across by five deep gets used up real quick. Luckily, I now have room to expand down one side. Oh, it's the Quickie Mart. Yeah, this looks really good. It's just all those little details you notice that really set it over the top. You know, I've, I, w I brought this up on here because I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen these before, but I'd, I've i never seen a Lego vending machine at the airport or wherever. If I had one of these at the airport, that'd be fucking dangerous because then I'd buy a set and then I'd be like, well, this flight's four hours long. 
let me build it and then you drop one piece on the floor of a fucking airplane no nah, I'm good I'm good on that piece forever the brick kid amazing crashed star destroyer at Legoland yeah that is fucking amazing that thing is gigantic that's probably the scale of what it would be to based on the scale of the actual minifigure yeah that looks fucking amazing created by at Legoland California uh, I wish they credited the person but there's probably a group of people collaboratively on that, so good job, Legoland California. Those are the Taz Customs. We looked at those. Batman Thug Life in a Michael Jordan jersey. Mm -hmm. Climbing Wall, uh, Jan Dot Bricks, Fear of Height, dot, 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 dot. This dad is just sending that kid up to his doom. He looks so happy, and that kid's shitted. He's like, I don't want to be here. I don't like this. <laughs> Just keep going up, huh? Just keep going up, son. We'll be fine. Let me know when you get to the top. Uh, Lego underscore inspirational May 2nd free comic book day. This is from a while ago. Anyway, I found it on here. And this is The Flash versus Superman in a race. Uh, we looked at this one. And we looked at those ones last week. So that's everything I got on here. That looks like it's everything. Thanks for watching this if you uh, stayed through this the entire way. I don't think there's anyone in the chat that wants anything because there's. I see a couple people in the chat. No one's typed anything into the chat. And now the show's over. So if you're still watching this right now, just type... Whatever platform you're watching this on, type something into the chat or the comments or whatever. And, you know, I got stuff to give away. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a good night.